Well, good morning, everybody. Today is Tuesday. Uh, it is time for Corey with uh, Sports Talk with Corey. Um, as you know, I am the host, Corey Jackson, today, and I and I hope each and every one of you are having a great day today. And the sun is shining here, and we're going to get into some topics for the next 10, 12 minutes, and we're going to talk some sports. So uh, here we go. We are going to start with our Minnesota Twins that uh, went 2-1 and one and won the series against the Chicago White Sox this past weekend. Hooray, hooray! Um, we have to give a big shout out to our Twins player, uh, Nelson Cruz. He's the player of the week. He uh, had two home runs the other day, and he batted in seven runs. And I believe it was a 14-2 or 14-3 win to win the series uh, opener against uh, the Chicago White Sox. Um, Saturday, I watched the game, and we did not pitch very well. That was one of the games we didn't play well, but we did get the... Uh, series winning. You always want to win your series when you have a series against a team. You always want to open up and win that series. So um, we looked pretty good. Um, some of the notes that I did, uh, did we pitched pretty well throughout the weekend other than Saturday. Um, uh, we had two back-to-back -back home runs from uh, Max Kempler who, who had two at-bats and came back-to-back -back and hit two uh, uh, home runs. So that's the first time I believe in Twins history that's happened at two at-bats, back-to-back home runs. So they played really, really well. I was very happy with the overall production. We have to get better with some of our pitching. But again, as I have stated to you, pitching is always the Twins' mainstay of having problems with, 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 with their pitching. But their pitcher looked pretty good. The pitching looked pretty decent this weekend. So I'm pretty happy with it. Um, some other notes that, that I saw, uh, Byron Buxton did not play this weekend. He is going to start playing today, matter of fact. The Twins play, open up a two-game series against the St. Louis Cardinals, which will be here in Minnesota. Um, I believe the game is later this evening, if I'm not mistaken. So we uh, get Tuesday and Wednesday with the Cardinals, so hopefully we can you know win both of them. But we'll take a split if we have to. So... Um, but yeah, Byron Buxton will be in the lineup. You know, he had a foot sprain two weeks ago and he's been progressing really well. They just, they didn't want to put him in this, this past weekend just to make sure he's good to go. So what which position is, does he play? He plays center field. So he plays center field and he will be playing tonight, uh, uh, tonight and during the series coming up for this two game homestand. So good job, Buxton. I'm glad you will get you back in there because we need you. Um, some other major league notes, um, uh, the Florida Marlins were to play the Philadelphia Phillies this weekend are coming up, but 11 of their players tested positive for COVID-19. So the game, the, the game has been postponed. They were supposed to start yesterday. Some of their players and some of their coaches have tested positive, so they will not be playing. And they were supposed to open up again uh, today against the Yankees. So we, I don't think that, that series is gonna happen either. So. We'll see what happens with that. So um, there hasn't been other uh, any baseball related. The NBA, uh, M, uh, the commissioner of baseball said that it's still gonna baseball still moving forward regardless of those eleven positive tests. So he he thinks it's just a small isolated incident. So we'll see we'll see what happens with that. Um, as you know, Minnesota Vikings re-signed Mike Zimmer this past week. You know, this past week to a, uh, I believe, a three-year contract extension. So, our coach is not going anywhere. He says he wants to be here. So, we'll see how how we do with that. Um, speaking of the Vikings, our athletic trainer Eric Sugarman has tested positive for coronavirus. He had not been in contact with any of the players or anybody in the building, so he is quarantined at home with his family. I believe his family also tested positive as well, so they're all going to quarantine for 14 days, and hopefully he'll get back soon, and we wish him well and hope he feels better and, and hope his family feels better. Um, the veterans are going to report, I believe, today for Vikings camp. The rookies have already, uh, already reported. Um, they were saying that when the veterans get there, they're not going to even be allowed to get into the building yet. They're going to have to go right over and get all, uh, they got this lab or this thing outside the building where they're going to be tested right away for coronavirus. And I believe it's a rapid test thing where they can know right away whether or not they have it. So 
they're not going to be allowed into the building. And I, I, if I recall, I remember our last session, we talked about a lot of the players are not going to be allowed to go throughout the whole building because of coronavirus. They're only going to be they're only going to be able to go certain places throughout the building. They're not going to have access to certain places. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, we'll see how that goes. But that's that new protocol that the Vikings are going to be doing. And this is going to be every day. They're going to, when they come to the building, they're going to be tested. They're going to be tested, I believe, twice a day. Once when they get there and once when they leave because they want to keep track of who's coming in the building, who who's interacting with who, and we'll see how that goes. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Um, WNBA News, our Minnesota Lynx did win their game Sunday. It was uh, highly competitive. Um, they did not look very good the first half, but uh, one of our rookies who we just drafted uh, had a great game and brought our team all the way back and won the game for them. So they played the Connecticut Sun, I believe, is who we played. So um, they looked, second half, they looked pretty good. Um, you know, when you, when you don't play for a long while and you get out there, practice is different from a game because in a game you're full, full running nonstop. So they looked a little out of sync the first half but the second half they played pretty well and I was very happy with that so they're one and all on the season they play I believe tonight against the Seattle Storm and remember all the games are in Florida are in Florida at Disney World they're not on their individual home floors so don't forget that um I believe the game is later this afternoon six seven o'clock on uh, either ESPN or Fox Sports Net, so. Which is Channel 27 here. Which is here. Channel 27 here, and I'm glad Patty just told me that. 27 <laughs> here, so make sure you know. If you don't know, look on your on your paper, on your newspaper. If you get a newspaper, it's in the sports section, or check, uh, check your guide on your cable. Uh, and you should be able to find it. So let's see if we can get another win. Um, there hasn't been any college uh, football news or basketball news. There's still waiting to decide how they're going to how they're going to implement the season so I think they're still in talks but again a lot of the football players are starting their camps you know like their preseason camps to get started summer camps to get ready um basketball is is also practicing but again they're doing a lot of the corona testing you know keeping players in certain areas you know it's like the bubble you know they don't want them to go too far or anything like that so We'll see, we'll see how that goes, but there isn't really any news. Um, the Minnesota Wild have been practicing. They have an exhibition game on Wednesday evening against the Chicago uh, Avalanche, I believe that's their name. And that'll be an evening game and that'll be on Fox Sports Net. That'll be also on uh, Channel 27. They get one exhibition game and then on Saturday, they will start their uh, uh, Saturday, the playoffs, I mean, the the, game, the restart will start, and then Sunday, they will be playing in the playoffs against the Vancouver Canucks to start the playoffs. So playoffs are right around, it's only less than six days away, so. Um, that'll be a, yeah, that'll be a late game. I'm sorry, Pat, that'll be a late game because they're gonna be playing in Edmonton, Canada. Uh, so you, you have to remember when they play in Canada, it's probably going to be a 9.30 p.m. game, so it's going to be a late game, you know, our time. So just look for that. Um, the Wild on SFN. Yeah, yep, the Wild are on SFN North. It'll be, uh, it'll be shown on cable, which is Fox Sports Net again, Channel 27, and you should be able to get it. So if you're staying up late, I'll probably watch probably maybe the first two periods. For me, it's late because <laughs> I get up early, so... But um, that's what's going on with the Wild. The Wild are, they say they're ready. They've been practicing for almost two, two or three weeks. They say they're, they're ready. So we'll see how that goes. So um, I'm just trying to think of any other related items I wanted to address with you. Um, no, oh, oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I totally forgot this. Um, Dalvin Cook is going to... Uh, Report to training camp. He had already said he wasn't going to come come to camp because he Minnesota wanted. Vikings. Min, I'm sorry. Yep, Minnesota Vikings. I, um, my apologies. When we were, I totally it just popped in my head. I do that sometimes. But uh, Dalvin Cook is uh, kind of in a contract squabble with the Vikings right now. So he wanted a new contract. He had said he wanted a new contract when he had gotten to camp, but he has decided to come to camp and uh you know be in camp and be a good guy and show good faith even though he has one year left on his contract he wanted a new contract but uh 
He is going to report to camp today, and um, uh, Mike Zimmer and Rick Spillman and a lot of the Vikings, are, they are saying that they are going to try to work and get a contract done with him. We don't know if it will get done during their season because – he wants to be paid highly too, like all some of the other backs on the team. So we'll see how that goes. I don't, I don't think it's going to be a stalemate. I think they're going to sign him and they're going to pay him what he's worth. And um, the Mike Zimmer said that uh, he's going to name him a captain this year, so he's going to be a captain on the offense. So he claim, he's saying all the right things and he's doing all the right things. So let's hope it translates to him getting a a new contract. You know, a lot of these players when they got one year left on their deal they get really nervous about their financial future so they want to start a contract squabble with the team to try to get security so usually when there's one year left a lot of the players want to reno renegotiate their deals so we'll see how that goes so i don't know how it's going to go hopefully it'll go smoothly but um, um i have big expectations for the vikings but I'm very concerned, about, again, as I said before, I'm very concerned about their defense because they're, uh, they're having one guy that's going to be playing corner who had ACL surgery. He's been in and out of the lineup for two years. And we just drafted a rookie corner, and um, uh, we'll see how that goes. That's going to be an experiment. you got to remember when you're a rookie, it's tough to come right it from college into the NFL and, and be able to adapt to that type of lifestyle or you know that fast play on the field so we'll see how that goes i had totally forgot about that so my apologies on that um i have so many things running through my head you know it's 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 kind of kind of booming up there but um yeah other than that there hasn't really been anything else in the sports news other than again like i said the twins will be on the, uh for two games the wild will start up wednesday with a, with an exhibition game and the Lynx will probably play tonight. And remember, a lot of the games are on Channel 27, so I want to make sure I repeat that to you. 27 is Fox Sports Net. And again, if you can't find it, please look in the paper, and all this stuff is listed in the paper if, if you do get the paper. So um, with that, um, I'm pretty excited about the Twins. Hopefully they'll, they'll play a good game. And We'll be able to talk about some of the games. Uh, you won't see me again until you know next week. So they'll have already played a few games. So maybe we can get a broad feel of how this team is really going to be in the next four, you know, four to seven days. Because you won't see me after this for another week for another seven days. So hopefully I'll I'll have a I'll have a feeling of what I think the Twins are going to be. I know it's early. You can't get too excited. Uh, about you know about three games or you know be having a two and run record uh, you know a lot of my friends said oh man the man they're two and one they're three and one i said let's settle down now it's the or it's just the start of the season let's not get too overly crazy with it so we'll see how it goes so anyway i just wanted to say thank you again to patty for filming thanks again to the activities department they do a wonderful wonderful job to make this program what it is i enjoy doing it um remember if you have any questions uh call patty's uh, phone i forgot what it is but we'll, 5750 and uh, ask your question i need some questions i need to be challenged come on don't be afraid to ask me a question or anything or anything 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 i i need i need questions so so anyway, I'm going to sign off for the day. Um, have a wonderful Tuesday and uh, be blessed. And we'll be back here same time next week. Have a good day. Bye-bye now.